Stampin' with Amori and today I am sharing actually I'm going to share just this card right here but I'm going to share the technique for this card using the Stamparatus and if you haven't seen this technique before you are in for a special treat because oh my goodness it is so beautiful I mean look at this so you can stamp all around in a circle like this. If you've known me and followed me for very long, you know I love wreaths. You know whenever we come out with a wreath stamp, I have to have it. I just love wreaths. So you're going to learn how to create that. And then I also did this one right here using the same technique. And this one is, by the way, our gorgeous grape. Look how beautiful that is. And then this one is our other um, Heather... Uh, can't think of Highland Heather and so these are our two new purples that we have and so I'm gonna share this card with you today and I'm gonna use all of a lot of the brights so we needed eight colors so I'm gonna use a lot of them are gonna be new colors some of them are gonna be returning colors but you're gonna get to see a lot of the new um, colors that we have using this one I'm not even sure which colors I used I think I did use all the brights on this one too but the, this technique is super fun to do. I just went, kept going crazy with it. And here's another one. I didn't get to put it on, the, on a card, but I thought it'd be really, really pretty. Look at that. And I colored this. This is from the um, painted glass, and it's the rose out of the stamp set. So I used that one, and I colored it with my Stampin' Blends. Oh, my goodness. I love the blends, too. I mean it makes it super simple and look at the depth in those roses and then I just stamped best wishes on the inside but I thought it would be gorgeous on like a wedding card or something so I just was going crazy the other day just playing with this because it's so fun so let's go ahead and get started with this so for what you're gonna need for this is you're gonna need a basic card and it's eight and a half by um, four and a half and score it at or five and a half by eight and a half and you're going to score it at four and a quarter and then you are going to also I'm going to emboss the front of that with our simple stripes embossing folder which is this one right here it's super pretty and I really just love the detail it gives this card and then the stamp sets that we're going to use is this pick a pendant I'm using this flower right here and then I'm going to use these little leaves right here to stamp the leaves on after and then I'm using for the sentiment the stitched all around now the stitched all around um, these both come with framelits um, and they come as bundles to save if you could save 10% if you get the bundle and this one is what we're using and who doesn't want love stitching now on this this card you probably aren't gonna see it very well because it's black but you may be able to catch the edge here I used this fra uh, framelit right here and it is stitching and this one's another one that's stitching but it's like a cross stitch so I used it on both edges of this I'm gonna do it on our other on the card that I show you too so there's going to be some detail in this card but and this is the framelit that I'm going to use for the thank you so I'm just going to take those two off and get them ready for when we need to use them all right so that is what we're using for this and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and emboss this or let me show you the framelit I mean the template that we're going to use for this first of all all right so we're going to use the largest of the layering squares and you're, you are going to need these to do this technique so it's the largest square I already cut one out here so that I wouldn't have to go ahead and cut this out again too but I'm going to show you with the big shot how to make the template for this so what I did first was I cut a piece of my pad here that has all the little grids on it so that I can use it as a guide for cutting out my template so this is what the template looks like right here so this is the template that you're gonna make and use for every single one of these cards that I did it's the exact same one you can get a little bit more detail and you can cut more sections 
and I may show you that in a future date but we're gonna go with this basic one first so let's get the big shot out and we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you how I did this so you are gonna need your big shot platform I'm not using the magnetic because I need to emboss and so I just brought this one so we're gonna lay that on there and I'm just going to line it up with the to keep it it'll keep it straight so I'm gonna line it up with those um, grid marks and we're gonna just run this one through so you're just gonna cut out have a square just like that and then the next thing we're gonna do is we are gonna put it going the other way and the reason I'm using this grid paper is to keep them even and you can count like the amount of squares on each side so you know that you have have it even and then and I line it up with the center here and then with this mark here so you have it you just want it to be even and then we're going to run that one through and then our template will be made but you can't do it without this template so that's why I wanted to share how to do the template so there is your template right there so let's move this out of the way while I have this out I'm going to go ahead and emboss I don't need this one for the embossing I'm going to emboss the front of that card with our stripes and we're gonna after we stamp I'll need to bring the big shot back up here and I also I should while I have this out so there's our front that's embossed and I think I'm gonna go ahead and run the stitch stitching through on the little black piece and that black piece is I do need my platform again the black piece is one inch by five and a half so I'm gonna go ahead and do that while I have this here so I'm just going to center that on there right to the edge so that just the edge is stitched. And then I'm going to turn it around and do the other side too. It's so pretty. I love this stitching. And these things are just extra little things, framelits for you to play with. At first I wasn't sure what it what it was for but then I started playing with it and figured but let's see if you can see the stitching now that no can't really see it too good I don't think oh there you go see that <gasps> so pretty all right so we're gonna move that out of the way and let's go ahead and start stamping with the Stamparatus so I already have this template in there so you're going to need to cut one more of the large squares out. Oh, you're picking up the wrong one. The large square, you're going to have to cut one out of your thick whisper white is what I'm using. And you're going to set this here, right in the center. I did rip that a little bit, but it's okay. It still works. And I am going to center this right in the center there. That's my little flower stamp. And then I'm going to just pick it up with my, and it will pick that up because these photopolymers are super sticky. But you just need to put it back in that spot. And you always have, you can put a magnet on it, but it's it just is easy not to put the magnet. Alright, so I'm going to just start with the Poppy Parade. And I need my little, I haven't gotten my order yet that I ordered. I'm supposed to get it today. And I'll probably do a haul. I want to keep my little 
wet chamois there. I'm getting the new Stampin' Up! one. I like it better. It's thicker. And so we're going to just stamp that one. And then you can just clean it off after each one, each color. And then we're going to go for the Melon Mambo. Now that I got the new ink pads, this one make are so confusing <laughs> to open. <laughs> I just love the new, the new ones. So we're going to turn this now to that spot right there. So it's going to go into that one. And then we're going to stamp this one. And the good thing about this is if it comes too light for you, you can stamp it again. I think this one needs a little bit of re-inking. I love Melon Mambo, so I use it a lot. So there. All right, then we're going to move it this way again. And I'm going to use Flirty Flamingo. And if you get at these bigger pads on a little stamp like that, they're a little bit harder to maneuver. So there's the Flirty Flamingo. I should have alternated these different differently, but it's okay. Now we're going to rotate it again to this one right here. So we're going to have the lighter colors, I think, on the one side and then the kind of the reddish on the other. It's all right. It's going to still be really pretty. I love these colors together. And then we're going to rotate it again. I'm going to use the Granny Apple Green. This is one of my favorite new colors. I love this Granny Apple Green. It's so pretty. So you can see it forming a wreath. Now with the stamp this little, it leaves a little bit of space, but we're going to fill that space in with the leaves. And um, you can see on the other ones, if the larger stamp, you can see that they're closer together. So it's all in what you want to do use your imagination with it but this is so fun I'm telling you you will be addicted to it it's just so fun to do and we're gonna turn it again and I'm gonna ink that one again because it didn't come out quite as dark this one's the coastal cabana I'm trying not to get it on my platform here so Okay, now we're going to rotate it again, and we're going to do the Pacific Point. I love this little flower stamp though with it. It's just so delicate. And then we're going to do last but not least the gorgeous grape. And we're going to turn it one more time. And look at that gorgeous grape. It is so pretty. All right, so now I'm ready to take it off. I'm going to use some garden green to fill it in with the the little. Um, I did get my garden green out here. We're going to use these little leaves on here, and I'm just going to stamp them go around and stamp so you see how it fills in those areas I'm gonna go around the other side too once I get this side
Sorry if you hear my dog. I don't know why she's barking. I think maybe the UPS guy's here. She doesn't like the UPS guy. I love him, but she doesn't like him. <laughs> and then we're going to just put some on this side too. And I think that's it. Look how cute. I just love this. And it makes such a cute little wreath. Just like that. So let's stamp. Because we need to stamp our other pieces. And then um, run those through the big shot. So I'm going to use some Memento Black. And I'm going to stamp the thank you. From the stitched all around. I love this set. It's probably going to be one of my go-to's. Just look how cute that is. And that's going to we're going to use the framelit on that. And then also I'm going to use a framelit, a circle framelit to go behind it and I'm just going to use some basic black for that. And I think this is the one that, yeah, that was the one that I used. So let's get the big shot back up here and we'll run these pieces through. So we're going to do these together. Okay, so we're going to Use that for that, and then we're going to just run this one through for that. And I think we'll have everything ready to go. So we have that. And this one is a really good one to use if you have the brush set. The die brush because it tends to get stuck in these little pieces right here and I usually just have to take this to go around the edge it's kind of delicate the edges but if I had the die brush out it would work really really good all right so there we go look how cute that is I love this, this stamp set and framelits. This bundle is just great. All right, so I'm going to move these pieces out of the way. I'm just going to use some snail, and we're going to attach it to the front here, onto the card. I just wanted the black showing through, so it looks really pretty. All right, so let's get our card base back out. Okay, so here's our card base. And then I'm going to just use some snail to attach. Actually, I usually use Fast Fuse when it's, I use it on embossing because I don't like for them to fall off. So we're going to layer this onto here. And then this piece... Oh, I forgot to cut out the little square for this, the basic black square. I need to do that. So we are going to need this larger, the largest scallop square. And we're going to go ahead and run that through. And I think we'll be ready to go. really tight. All right. So we have our scallop square there. I'm ready to attach the that stamped image on there. And 
then that looked pretty with the black behind it. I think that's so pretty. And then we're going to just go ahead and put that. I'm going to grab my snail. Not my snail, my fast fuse. Because I'm sure I'm going to use these. I always use thank you cards. I always can use them. Let's see which way. I think I'm going to put it that way. So I'm centering that in the middle. I'm going to grab some dimensionals. Put a couple on the back here. And that's going to go in the middle. And that is it. Isn't that pretty? I just love this technique. You have to try it because it is so much fun. I mean, you're going to be addicted to it once you start using it. The Stamparatus is a great tool. You have to have one. If you're a stamper, avid stamper, you have to have one. Anyway, that is it. Here's the other one that I made using these the little flowers here. And then here's the little rose one that I didn't get to put on my card yet. So it, there's so many different options here. So I hope you really enjoyed it. If you need any supplies, you can go to my blog at stampingwithamore.com and shop from my blog. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit the little bell to get notifications each time I upload a new video. So I hope you all have a blessed day, and I'll catch you in the next one. I'll see you later. Bye.